Hi and uh, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about what is a workbook and a worksheet and what is the difference between a workbook and a worksheet. Now this lesson is actually very important you must um, focus on this lesson and understand the difference between a workbook and a worksheet before you move on to the next lesson because in the next lesson if you do not understand the difference between a workbook and a worksheet you may struggle a little bit so I repeat please make sure you complete this lesson fully and have a good understanding of what a workbook and a worksheet is. Okay, so let's uh, make a start on this lesson. So here we are back on our uh, lovely spreadsheet that we have created uh, from lesson one up until now. The question of today, um, let's have a look, is do you know what a workbook and a worksheet is? Do you know the difference between them? So again, the focus is on this workbook and worksheet. Let's have a look at our spreadsheet and we'll use this as an example to discuss the difference between a workbook and a worksheet and what they are. So to begin with, the word workbook contains the word book, you've probably noticed. So if I was to tell you that a workbook generally means an entire thing, just like any other book, it's an entire book, a full thing. On the other hand, the worksheet you could think of I mean, again, the key word there is sheet, worksheet. So a worksheet, you can think of it like one page in a book. So any book you read, the entire thing is the book. And then a single page within the book, you can call that a worksheet. So logic says that well, pages are inside a book. So similarly, you could say that worksheets are also inside a workbook. Are you following what I'm saying? Because this, this is very important. You have to understand this. I repeat, a worksheet can belong inside a workbook. Similarly, in the real life example, a page belongs inside a book or I can say pages belong inside one book. So we can compare that to the Excel worksheets belong inside a workbook. It's actually as simple as that. Now I'm going to give you actual examples of in relating it to Excel. So this spreadsheet that we have created together, the entire thing, the file name of it was Ski Budget 4. So that's what we call the workbook. It's the entire thing. Now within this workbook, I can create multiple worksheets. I can have, so I'm just going to take you and show you where they are. You probably already noticed, but they are actually located here at the bottom. So you can see I've got sheet one. If I click on sheet two, I know there's nothing on there, but I could have some data on there. I've got sheet three. I can go and add many more um, by clicking on this plus sign. You can see, and it's just giving me many worksheets that will belong within this entire workbook. So I can have many worksheets in one workbook. Just like the example I gave you of a book, you can have many pages within one book. So the keyword 
if I take you back to the question, is that you can have many worksheets within one workbook, just like the book. I know I'm repeating myself, everyone, but it is important that I get this message across. This knowledge is vital for you to confidently complete the next few lessons in this series. If you misunderstand this, then I'm afraid you will struggle. So to answer these two questions is, do you know what a workbook and a worksheet is? The answer would be that a workbook is like any other book that contains many sheets inside. And what a worksheet is, you could say it is like a page in a book or pages in a book. Just like you've got many worksheets here which belong inside one workbook. So basically that is the difference. The, the, the two questions here are very similar. They do overlap. So do you know the difference between them? Well, you could say, of course, um, the workbook is the entire entity uh, or, or the thing. And the worksheet is like a page that belongs inside the workbook. And that is the difference. Um, if you do have any further questions or any clarification, please do leave me a question or comment in the comment section and I will clarify this further for you. Um, if you need to repeat this video tutorial a few times, please do so before you move on to the next lesson. So on that note, I'm going to finish this lesson. So I hope you've enjoyed it and understood this key knowledge. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, um, share, and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please, uh, please make sure you do. I'm sure it will be of benefit to you. And I shall see you over in the next lesson. Goodbye for now.